how do we help improve health and manage health by proactively providing solutions which will help us manage uh, the uh, challenges to the intestinal health which what we would like to call it as the intestinal resilience building intestinal resilience to better provide for health and productivity improvement so several years ago uh, when we launched our first probiotic which is called prostat it was targeted to a specific organism which is costing us for treatments to manage necrotic enteritis right uh, and we did see very good response but over the years as we have worked with our customers we see that the challenges keep varying by geography and the strains involved also vary the market is very clear in the need for the next generation of active microbials so cost trivial challenges are increasing but there's also an increased need to target colibacillosis and salmonellosis and for the poultry produ producers in countries with strict regulation that means they have to look for new tools to manage those emerging enterobacteria cf but also in the countries with less strict regulations we see there they have an increased antimicrobial resistance particular in the e coli and in the salmonella and carosure provides three bacillus strains that directly inhibit the growth of potential pathogens such as clostridium perfringens and e coli it also manages the prevalence of other enterobacteria cf and it does that by promoting a healthy microbiome through the production of antimicrobial metabolites and quorum quenching molecules at kemen we offer a combination of nutritional solutions like entrosure but also analytical tools and technical expertise in the last couple of years we have been really heavily focused on the intestinal health space and we now offer one of the most comprehensive portfolios of high quality and science based uh, solutions and services With these solutions and services, we really, really want to uh, boost the animal's resilience, and we do that by proactively addressing viral, bacterial, uh, parasitic, and toxin challenges.